Good evening. Welcome to Friday's Midlands Today from the BBC. Well, in other news, it's becoming clear that big cuts in public spend sector spending will hit police forces hard. Yesterday, West Midlands Police, the country's second biggest force, announced more than 2,000 posts could go. And across the region, there'll be major cutbacks too. Here's Bob Hockenhull with the latest, and there is some flash photography in his report. To tighten ah. your <laughs> Well, you both look very smart. Let me Thank just you. say that before we move on, shall I? <laughs> now, the Red Arrows have been with us in the region today and they send their apologies if you were stuck behind them. That's because they weren't in their usual place in the sky above but travelling much more slowly at ground level along some very wet roads. Our reporter Holly Lewis caught up with them in Shrewsbury. It's a Fairly dire day, dry wasn't at that it? moment yeah, though, didn't it? Did, it? Actually, but, but it was dire everywhere. Absolutely it? abysmal, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Both got caught in it, didn't we? I know. Horrible. Big washout. Washout. Yeah, what are we going to get this weekend? The production yeah, gallery <laughs> there and you got that forecast grim, Horrible. isn't it? Now let's have a look at tonight's main headlines. Well, we're joined now by our political editor, Patrick Burns. We keep hearing... After today's drenching, certainly the political climate at the moment is little short of stormy. We'll, of course, have all our regular news bulletins across the weekend and on Monday's programme at 6.30 usual time, we'll be live at the conference, won't we? Meanwhile, some of us have got to drive about a round figure of about 400 miles tomorrow. Got to? Well, Want you know to, I, mean? I think. Something to do with Luton Town. That's uh, it. Indeed. Have a lovely weekend. See you bye -bye. Monday. Bye-bye.